Duct tape, it's the number one restraint used by bad guys globally. And that is why you need to know how to escape from it. So let's talk about duct tape for a second. It's cheap, it's readily available all over the globe, and let's face it, it's the easiest thing to use to restrain someone, if you're into that kind of thing. So here are some techniques that you can use if you find yourself in a sticky situation. The easiest is simply carry a razor blade with you. My favorite place to hide it is in the sole of your shoes. You just have to remember that you've got to be able to get to your shoe whether your hands are bound in front of you or behind you. You can also use your waistline so that no matter whether your hands are bound in front or in back, you can still get to your flanks. Heck, even these days, you've got clothing manufacturers that actually have concealed pockets just for this reason. If you don't have a razor blade, that's okay. You can use other techniques to escape. Simply rubbing that tape back and forth on the corner or a rough surface will slowly break it and you can escape. The third is to use your body as a wedge. This technique requires practice. With your hands bound in front of you, you're going to launch your elbows past your rib cage using your body as a wedge and it's going to shear the tape right in half. If you do it right, it'll look like the tape had been cut with a pair of scissors. If your feet are bound and you can't get to them with your hands and undo the tape, then you can stand up and squat as quickly as possible to the ground and that will also act as a wedge and force the tape to shear. If you find yourself restrained and you don't have the tools or maybe you don't have the techniques, there's always something in the environment that you can leverage. At the end of the day, and you find yourself restrained, remain calm, use common sense, and escape as quickly as possible.